Hey, what is going on guys and girls? Just wanted to do a fun comparison video today between GPT 3.5 and GPT 4. So we all know that GPT 4 is out right now. And after doing some experimentation, I found that you're able to get really high quality content that is not easily detectable by AI detection tools when using GPT-4. So I wanted to do a fun comparison in which I would take the same inputs and use them on GPT-3.5 and GPT-4 and take those outputs and run it into an AI detection tool to see which one of these models will be more easily detectable by an AI detection tool. So let's go ahead and get started. For the first example, I'll be asking both AIs to write a funny LinkedIn post about why AI will not take our jobs. And here's the output in which we got back from GPT 3.5. Hey, LinkedIn fam, are you worried that AI will take your job? Fear not, my friends, because I have a secret weapon to keep your career safe. My terrible sense of humor, da da da. Okay, so pretty decent output here from GPT 3.5. And I ran the same input on the model GPT 4. And this was the output in which we got back. As you can see, this content is a lot better than what we got back from GPT 3.5. It is a lot more in depth, a lot more funnier, and it's also just uh, formatted really nice. There's emojis in here. Um, it really kind of talks about the topic at hand. It really addresses the audience in a really nice uh, way that sounds very human like. So, in terms of quality, I don't think there's really a difference. I think GPT 4 is way better, but that's not the topic for today's video. We'll be testing the. Um, ability to be detected by an AI detection tool. So let's go ahead and copy the content from the first output, which is the model GPT 3.5. Now let's paste it in here and we're going to detect AI. Okay, so this is 100% original, which is pretty good. So let's go ahead and do the same thing with the content that we got back from GPT 4 and also 100% original. So that was a shorter piece of content. So maybe that's why it's both original. Let's go ahead and try it again with a longer piece of content. Okay, so this is the introduction that was. <clears throat> so this was the introduction. <clears throat> so this. <clears throat> so this is the introduction that was generated by GPT-4. So now let's go ahead and run the same input on GPT-3.5. The big difference in the speed, as um, GPT-3.5 is much faster than GPT-4. But let's go ahead and do the same test here. So we're going to copy some of this content here. Let's go from the middle. And we're going to start with GPT-3.5 and we're going to do a new scan. Okay, so let's go ahead and scan. And as you can see for this score, the originality score is 0% and it's 100% detected by AI. Keep in mind that that was for GPT 3.5. So let's go ahead now and do the same thing for GPT 4. So this was the output in which we got back. So again, let's go ahead and copy some of this content here. Let's get it from the middle and we're gonna paste that in here and scan it. And it's a 100% original content. So this is actually really, really high. I was expecting it to be higher um, than what we got from GPT 3.5, but I wasn't expecting it to be 100% original with 0% being detected by AI. So that just tells you how high quality the content is that you're getting back from GPT 4, because it's uh, passing these AI detection tools, which means all of the previous ways in which it was generating content, which is what these tools are trained on, it's changed that and improved. And that's why you're able to get much better content using GPT-4. Let's go ahead and do one more test to see if this um, holds true. Okay, so here's the content that we got back from GPT-3.5. Pretty decent paragraph here. So again, let's go ahead and do the same thing. We're going to copy the middle of this article, or sorry, this blog post intro that it created. And we're going to do a new scan. Okay, so let's go ahead and scan this. 21% original and 79% AI detected. Uh, let's go ahead and do the same thing for GPT-4. And here's the output in which we got back from GPT-4. Again, a really, really good um, paragraph here. I'm very impressed by the quality that we're getting back in terms of output. So let's go ahead and copy this full paragraph over. I'm not gonna spit it up because I really wanna see how good it is in detecting content. And again, as you can see, 100% original content. That is really, really good for content that we just copied from ChatGPT and pasted it into an AI detection tool. As you saw with the previous models, you do find that it would pick up on AI detected um, content pretty easily. And you would have to do a lot of prompting and add some very comprehensive prompts so that it would be able to write in a specific way. But right off the bat, we see that without any prompting, we're able to get 100% original content from GPT-4. And that's the difference between GPT-4 and GPT-3.5. GPT-4 is really, really good at understanding context. It is really good at generating high quality content. 
um, and it just allows you to not have to do all of that prompt engineering to be able to get high quality content. So I am very, very impressed with GPT-4. I think it is miles ahead of GPT-3.5 and I think it's going to continue to get better as well. And as you can see from this little test, it definitely does pass every AI detection score that's available on originality.ai. I'm pretty sure if you tried other ones, the results would be the same, but I urge you to try it for yourself. Go ahead and generate some content and let me know what your results are. As always, I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and I hope that you learned something new. If you have any questions about anything that I mentioned in today's video or you have any suggestions, let me know in the comments below. I just wanted to do a fun and quick comparison between GPT 3.5 and GPT 4. As always, if you enjoyed today's video, give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.